Welcome back everyone. Wanted to try something different today. I've had this idea in mind for a, a while now. It just made it so much easier to try it on the backyard box instead of going to a skate park, getting in people's way and just hogging up a certain obstacle, you know? So um, I'm basically just going to be learning a trick and I'm just showing you the process of how I learn a trick. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, every painstaking attempt um, and I'm also going to try and learn it switch as well. So you'll get a good insight into how I learn tricks. I'm always teaching tricks, but today I'm actually learning tricks and just uh, linking together things that I already know to learn a new trick. So here we go. All right. So today we're trying the heel flip front side no slide. And I figured if it goes good enough, I'll give it a try switch if it doesn't take forever. But I thought it was also... Um, relevant that I could cover the the backside heel flip and the front side nose slide recently and then now just try to combine them into this trick. I haven't really tried this before, haven't really been interested in trying it, but it just makes things easier when I have a backyard box here to try it on uh, instead of going to the skate park and just trying to hog up an obstacle. So you'll see that the main issue it looks like I'm having here is just shifting that weight onto the nose after the heel flip gets done. It's kind of a hard thing for me to do. I'm not really that good at regular heel flips. So that um, was one of the main issues here, um, trying it regular. And um, it's just a, it's, it's really just that. It's hard to really shift my weight onto that. It almost got close there. Um, did a sketchy one right there, just kind of didn't land, landed pretty crooked, so I wanted to redo it. Um, I was starting from a distance like I usually do with the front side nose slides. Uh, helps you avoid that right there, <laughs> getting uh, into a front board on accident. I was afraid that I reopened some stitches right there. So I just wanted to check on that. I had to get stitches earlier this year from something similar. I had my number one fan checking on me right there, making sure I'm okay. Um, yeah, that, that was really just the worst, that was the worst fall of this session for sure. Just that getting into that front board on accident. It's probably one of the worst type of falls you can have on a, on a ledge in general. But this is the, um, this is the agony of, of learning a new trick. You know, it's not all fun and games with the repeated slow-mo that I go through on these, on these tricks, but it was a... It was an eventful session, that's for sure. Been pretty humid recently. That was the one that I was uh, happy with. Or wait, nope, that wasn't it. Um, I think I did a few here that were, I kind of stopped in the grind and I just kind of had to shove my way off. Yeah, that I don't think that was the one either. So yeah, I was just, I didn't like the way that those slid. So I wanted to feel like I was actually sliding smooth instead of just coming to a stop and having to force myself off the ledge. So I wanted to clean it up. I don't really consider myself having learned a trick unless I did it a few times. That was the one that I was happy with. So that was a regular heel flip front nose. Uh, it, it was a very interesting session because I'm not good at regular heel flips. So I'm trying to switch here, which is my forte, the, uh, the switch heel flip. The switch front noses, not so much, but the, the switch heel flips, I felt comfortable with enough to get a few. So um, that's just me trying to practice the switch front nose because I, I never do that one. But I just wanted to do a few right there and uh, already getting into it a lot easier than the regular one. That's just a product of me tending to my switch heels so much over the years and never doing regular heel flips. That's what happens. Feels like that was it, but again, that was just like me, um, you know, getting into it and having to force myself off. I was just stalling. I wasn't really sliding, so I wanted to feel like I actually did a, a decent one there. Getting in and slipping off. Oh, there's that front board problem again. That's one of the worst ones, just slipping off completely into that front board. Switch heel front crook, almost. Uh, maybe I'll give that one a try sometime in the future. Probably feel safer doing that one too. This one just feels so awkward popping far away from the ledge. The closest thing I've 
I can do to this is a nollie heel flip tail slide, which is basically the same trick that's riding in the opposite direction. So it's pretty similar. And um, as I get closer to it, I'll talk about what ended up happening that made me learn this one easier. I should have tapped into it. Uh, should have tapped into that earlier, given it a try earlier. Would have made this a lot easier. But as I was continuing, uh, not only did I realize that the um, popping from a distance was important, but also really just the the heel flip and the the weight transfer to the front foot, so you can really just get into a solid front nose. That was uh, very important there. And there goes that switch front crook again. I'm probably gonna try that one pretty soon. This would be a nightmare for me though if I was uh, doing switch flip front nose. I can hardly switch flip into grinds. That's definitely one of my weaknesses. So I think some point around here, I took a break to just, there's a sketchy one and then the car horn and dog barking just wasn't going to take that. Yeah, I took a little break to chop up some footage and just, you know, catch my breath. Sometimes it's good to let your heart rate go down and just come back to it in a more clear state of mind. It just makes more sense. Drink some water. Try not to let the session get to the point where you, um, where you get thirsty. You don't, you don't want to allow yourself to get thirsty. You want to drink some water. Stay, stay up to date with your body's needs throughout the session for sure. It's going to help you get a clear state of mind, but there we go. I think that's the one. If I pick up the camera, it is the one. Well, no, it wasn't because, yeah, if, I guess if you kind of slow that one down, you'll see that I stopped in the grind and I just kind of popped out. Switch heel flip front side nose stall. Wasn't cool with that, so. We're getting close here. But, um,. This is it really, this is that, this is the learning process for me and this is every try that it took. So it's, it's not pretty. I don't get things pretty quick, but it's all really just built off of the knowledge of several years of heel flips, switch heels, front side no slides. You know, just trying to, um, trying to take the most important parts from each trick and just string them together and figure out what works. There it is. So I figured out that with this, um, I really, it really helped me to look more backwards on this trick. Um, it helped me to pretend that I was doing a nollie heel flip tail instead of a switch heel front nose. So the more backwards that I looked with this trick, the more it really clicked with me because it felt like I was going the other way doing a nollie heel flip tail. So that was the key to it for me. If I ever do this trick again, that's what I'm gonna act like I'm doing. I'm gonna act like I'm going in the opposite direction uh, cause that's a trick that I can do. So that was just insight to me and how I learned that trick, learned those uh, tricks, regular and switch. Hopefully this guys gives, this, um, gives you guys insight onto how you can learn more tricks. Um, just stringing things together that you already know. Hope you guys got something valuable out of that. Let me know if you like this video format, just trying something new here. And uh, I'll see you soon.